everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Cebalski. Well, they're hoping to bring the Red Mile alive again here in Calgary tonight. One thing I love about coming into Calgary, everybody reps a Flames jersey in this bar. It's so obvious when you're on the ice, you look up, it's like a team picture. There's nobody not wearing red in this building. This is why they called the Sea of Red, and it should be a fun one tonight. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Flames start with possession as we are now underway. Let's one go. Gets in front of it. Connor Hellebuck won a World Junior Gold Medal for the United States at one time. Drafted and developed here in Winnipeg. Excellent save. A chance in front. And he totally whiffs on that one. Carries it across the line. Unloads a shot. Wow. There it is. He scores! All over the rebound, and he taps it in! Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down, and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. Calgary's got a quick goal here early in this first period, and with it, a different energy in this crowd. Everybody gets ramped up a little bit. You score early, you hope you can. Now you have, you go get another. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. The Jets carry it along the wall. Slides it quickly to Morrissey. Back at the point, they set it up. Huge steal in his own end. Absolutely levels him. Yeah, sending a message early there, James. He gets the body contact. I need to take another look at that. I thought there was room to get by. Clearly, I was wrong. I'm glad I don't have to take the hit he just took. Calgary's been the better team to this point, and the stats show it. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Keeps hold of the puck. There's a shot. Oh, what a save with the glove! Calgary's had the shot advantages, and they also have the lead. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Let's it go, comes up with the stop. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Another stop by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Handles the puck, puts it on net, scores! On oh, the game back to level now. Anybody that's had a lead, the lead is gone, and now we're evened up again. Goaltender's playing the percentages here, James. He drops into the butterfly, but he leaves the top of the net open. Gets beat up over the stick side. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Brian Little, assisted by number eight. Across the point. And by number seven. Little's got it deep in the offensive end. The Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Frolink's got it across the line. Here's a shot and makes the save. Roslovich won the faceoff. Perot's taking it from his own end. Right up the gut, here they go. Rocks him. Puck picked up by Anderson. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Up along the wing. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. With some momentum driving towards the net, slides it over with pace to Roslovich. Moves the puck along the half wall. Big hit along the boards. 
Wow, did he finish him off there. Really nice hit along the wall. Hammers a shot. What a stop. Punched away from danger. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the pocket. He's in position again. He didn't have much time to react. He got the pad on that quick shot. Well past the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Here they come on the attack. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Through center along the wing. Shot. He scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. Calgary's offense has been hammering away since the start. They finally get a goal. You chip away, you chip away. The crack opens up. Now you take advantage. They've done that, and they'll want to finish off the first period the same way. Great poke check on the reach. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Solid hit on that play. Rocks him on the play. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Wheeler. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Moves it to Goudreau. Puts it on net. Oh, that's a good hit. Makes the save. Feeds the cross ice pass to Lindholm. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one. But hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Riddick's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Calgary's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he says no! Whistle blown as that's redirected into the crowd. Calgary's got the lead here late in this first period. Littles won it in their own end. Ehlers picking up steam. Shot in front and puts it right over the crossbar. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Officials blow the whistle. We've got icing on the call. And nothing too smooth about that play. I want another look at that. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, good work, guys. Good work, Brannigan. Getting this thing right. What a stop by the goaltender. The Flames lead it here late in this first period. Backlund's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, comes up with a stop. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's 2-1. Final minute approaching minute here in this opening frame. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Sends the pass over. That goes off the post and stays out. Pionk's moving it ahead. And he makes the easy save. That's the horn and 20 minutes is all said and done with here for period number one. Well, both goaltenders leak a little bit here. We've got a 2-1 game, and I can expect more of the same here if the first period was any indication. It's time for our hammer bonanza. If the home team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a free hamburger. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports.
And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Rick trying to gain a step. All alone. Sends it over. He scores! Whoa! He's so calm on this breakaway. He's got his head up the whole way. He picks his spot, snaps it by the goalie. Calgary's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Try and get a third one. Don't back up. Lays the body. Shifley's got it into offensive territory. And we've got a two-on-one. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Moves the puck. Shifley's got the puck on the redirect. And it's knocked away with a stick save by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. Here's a chance. Back to the point it goes. Steps into it. And he stands tall in goal. Bufflin stick handling in his own zone. Gets the puck back onto his stick. Pass to Wheeler. Shoots it and makes the save. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Lindholm. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Calgary's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Backlund's won the draw. Let's it fly. Scores! Three is the magic number. And that goal is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. You hope this play will work like this. You get a face-off win. It's a quick shot, and it beats the goaltender. Tonight, they absolutely have dominated here, especially with the goal scoring. They've been faster, they've played with more skill, and they are filling the net. What a fun night to play in. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Travis Hammond by number 11, Michael Beckwith. Time of the goal, five minutes, 40 seconds. Calgary's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Frolik. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Ehlers is on the attack. Pass right in front. Denied by the goaltender. The Flames lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Here's a chance right in the slot. Moves it quickly over to Line A. Sends a pass over. Glides along the blue line. Oh, what a stop. Puck scooped up by Hamannick. Quick feed to Lucic. Fires one, and that one stopped. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Calgary's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Over the line they come. With the blast, comes up with the stop. Takes the feed from his netminder. With possession along the wall. Right in the slot. Denied by the goaltender. Handles the puck from the left side. Centering pass. 
here. Daniels hauled down. Penalty on the way. Takes the pass. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Calgary sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. This is why you have meetings in the morning. You look at video of the penalty killers. You try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. Let's it go! Stops him cold! Gets it out of his own end. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Carries it in. Moves it to Goudreau. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Monahan's got it through the neutral zone. And manages to clear the zone. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. Looks to pass it to Lindholm. Unloads one. Denies him with a save. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. He's got a little jump. He's clear. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Oh, rocked along the boards. I almost feel the boards rattle where I'm standing here, James. That's a solid hit. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. I'm not so sure his coaches are going to love that. Too dangerous a play while you're ahead. Shot with the stop. Eon's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming. But man, does he get level. Calgary's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Takes the feed. Ryan's carrying it ahead. Looks to set up at the point now. Takes a shot. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. The Flames have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stage of this second period as they continue to lead big. Jankowski's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked away. Here's a chance. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Calgary's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. One minute left. Bennett's got the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Oh, what a glove save! Calgary's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Lowry's won a big draw on their own end. Kulikov's lugging the puck. Hard sounds bringing the second period to an end. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. They're down by three, trailing 4-1 after two periods. Fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. just moments away from the start of the third period.
Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. 40 minutes into this one here, Razor, how do you see things? Calgary's able to see the finish line now here into the third period with a comfortable lead. Just don't start giving away chances. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there, a stick between the player's feet. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. And that's blocked. Tries to feed it over to Lindholm. Cops got the puck along the wing. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Feeds it over to Kachuk. Snaps one from the slot. Blocked in traffic. Takes the return feed. Quick pass to Kopp. Moves it around along the half wall. And there's the save. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Takes the feed. And he takes a shot. And that one's turned away. Denies him again. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it. And then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. With the stop. Moves the puck to Lindholm. Lindholm swooping in on the attack. Denies him with the save. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock over. That's going to rattle your molars around there. That is an enormous hit that he took. Calgary's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves right to the middle. Comes up with the stop. The Flames have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Slides it diagonally to Morrissey. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Sends it over. Gets in front of it. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Morrissey's going off for hooking. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Jets penalty and a solid two. job tying up his opponent. Two minutes for hooking. Connors got it on the offensive end. 41 seconds. Just slide to the net. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call from the official. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Here we go. A lengthy five-on-three power play looms. Too many times on a long five-on-three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. Gets it out of his own end. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Carries it across the line. Puts it on net. Denied by the blocker. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. And manages to clear the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Quick pass across to Froelich. Froelich's got it in the offensive zone. Let's the wrister go. Comes up with the stop. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Officials calling tripping here on this one. This was the penalty I think when I took, I was most angry at myself because you're not trying to do it, and then all of a sudden you see the guy go down and you're just like, ah, oh, man, here I go. There's the result. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Gets it out of his own end. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside.
Calgary's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Taken by Lowry, and that's intercepted. Puck grabbed by Lindholm. Centered out in front, and that one's broken up. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Calgary's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Tipped in front, scoops up the puck in front of the net, trying to clear the zone, and manages to clear the zone. He got rocked! That hurts me. What a solid hit. Wow. Here's a short pass to Kachuk. Hammers the shot, and it comes up with the save. Quick feed to Pionk. Wax it into the offensive zone. Calgary's got it from behind the net. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Here's the chance. Stopped by the blocker. Takes it across the blue line. Puts it on net and makes the save. Hellebuck's been their team's best player. He's been busy, he's been peppered in time, and he hasn't broken yet. Really solid performance. The Flames have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. Holy has got the puck in his own zone. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Calgary's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Jets are in transition. Knocked away. Puck picked up by Kulikov. Traps that puck tight to his chest. Slides the pass over to Frolik. Centering pass, and he makes the save. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Calgary's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Hammers one from the point, and that goes off a player in front. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Receives the pass. Rips it, can't get it to go. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Let's it go. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Calgary's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. The Flames wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Hey, buddy, you got the lead. Play safe. And that one's broken up. Quick pass over to Connor. Nice pass. Shuts him down. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. Let's it go. And he comes up with it. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Morrissey. Roslovic's got it across the line. Sends it in on the attack. Back in or in front. Makes the save. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Riddick's 
really had to be dialed in tonight. He's been busy since the beginning of the game, and he's been excellent. Calgary's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Big time defensive play. Calgary's ready to go on the attack. Moves it to Lucic. Winnipeg's regained possession of the puck. Slides it back to the blue line. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Works it across to Roslovic. On the attack along the boards. Pass back to the point. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass to Pionk. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. The Jets gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Here he is from the slot, and they score. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Calgary's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Littles won the draw here in the open ice. In need of a goal, the extra attacker's out on the ice. Rips it on net, turns him away. Battling for it along the boards. And that one's picked off. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. I really like the way that they got after the puck and generated a high number of shots. Not all of them quality, but in a close game, you start peppering the other goalie, you're probably going to be okay. I get it was a tight game, but you look at the opportunities that they had, they had way better scoring opportunities. They did, and eventually the puck's got to go in most nights. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.